The next step for our project is to begin working on our cabinet grill. This is going to act as the door for our cabinet. It is going to feature our half rail molding part 892060. We're going to first cut out some scrap 1x2 lumber to use as the frame for our door. And then we can pull our measurements for how long we want to cut our molding at. Now I've chosen to make my cabinet door about half the width of my box. Now what I'm going to do is leave an eighth inch short just to make sure that I'm not going to interfere with my hinges when I go to install. Now I've got 33 and a half inches of interior space in my box, so I'm going to cut eight pieces of this molding at 16 and 5 eighths just to leave that eighth inch short to make sure that I'm going to have plenty of room when I close my door. Once I've got my molding sticks cut, I can go ahead and start laying them out onto my 1x2 lumber. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to each stick as I put it down just to act as a clamp so that I can flip it over and add some staples to the back. This is going to make sure that the molding sticks are secure whenever you go to pull the door to open the cabinet whenever you need to. I've also created some spacer blocks using my spare molding just to make sure that I have proper gaps between each molding piece and making sure that my grill is going to look parallel and uniform whenever it's all said and done. This will depend on your project dimensions so be sure to take those measurements into account whenever creating your spacers. Once that glue is tacked up, I can flip it over and make sure that I'm square and then just install some staples, making sure that they're not too long to bust through the front of my grill. This is just going to make sure that the molding pieces are secure when you go to pull the door open. Once we've got that done, we're ready to go ahead and apply a coat of stain to our entire project. 